Brandon, I know you're disappointed with the loss, but you know this defense goes up against an offense that had put up 50 a game and was maybe one of the most prolific in the in the country, and you hold it to what you did. I mean, and it's not about moral victories, but can you hang your hat on that this was a pretty this was a very impressive defensive effort, or can you even go there? I mean, we we always think we can do more or do better on defense than what how we however we play. Um, there's always things you can improve on. Um, but I think for the most part, yeah, that was an offense that was averaging 52 points a game, and we held them to 24 points. And I don't think they had like maybe 200 yards total offense, and they're usually close to about 500 yards total offense. So um, I think you know we did most of what we could, but I wouldn't say we played a perfect game. Did you do anything different than you've done in past games? Did you, did you have some special wrinkles for them? What were you able to do to kind of keep them off balance and? Just out of sync for the most part. All uh, I don't. We didn't have any new wrinkles or anything. It was just making sure throughout the week of practice that we prepared for that no huddle offense, and that's because that's how they that's how they score so many points. Is they get guys out of gaps and miss assignments, and then you know a big play shoots, and then they're five yards away from scoring a touchdown. So um, really, that was the biggest thing for us was making sure we get lined up and you know know our assignment and execute. What do you think? What do you think about what Sean gave you guys a quarterback? I thought Sean, you know, provided a nice spark. Um, obviously, there's still some things that he needs to, you know, improve on. But I thought, for the most part, for a reg- for a kid who has been redshirting this whole year to come in and, um, you know, have that first fumble. I mean, it happens, man. It's the game of football, but and he learned from it, and you know, we didn't lose hope in him. He, you know, he tried to do. He did the best he could, I think, in my opinion. I think he played hard. He's a competitive, competitive kid going against him on the scout team. Um, he knows he knows how to get guys fired up, and so um, I, I'm not. I don't know, you know, what the offense will do moving forward. But I thought for the most part he played hard. You have you have one touchdown really that scored against the defense, one special teams. And do you feel like this starts to get you guys for these last four games back in the order where maybe you were a year ago that you start to be that defense again? Yeah, I mean, each game is different. Um, Depending on how our offense does and how what, what you know what their our opposing team offense comes up with, and um, you just got to learn how to adjust. And there's you know adversity is going to come in every game, and you just got to you know learn to fight through it, and you know forget the next, forget the last play and move on. So you know I think that's the biggest thing for us moving forward. To Logan, look, I know it's a short week, but it's it's the border war coming up. It's a rivalry game. Will that help? You know, get the focus going, kind of re-energize the guys because it's 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 the border war. Will that will that help or does that matter at this point? Yeah, I mean. You always get fired up for rivalry games, but to say that that's, you know, that's the game that has to turn our season around. Like I'm saying, guys need to get fired up for every game, not just because it's a rivalry border war game. We need to, you know, execute our game plan to the best of our ability, regardless of who we're playing. But uh, yeah, CSU is obviously our, you know, our rival, and you know we're going to go down there and you know try to come away with the W. I know you guys will you know, support whoever. Coaches decide to go with their quarterback. Was there, was there a different energy level, kind of a different spark among the team once once Sean came in there and gave you that boost? Um, I, I'm not sure. I mean, we I didn't get to watch a whole lot of offense. You know, I just get to watch limited stuff on the big board, and the sun was in my eyes a lot of times. So I just kind of based on what they did off the crowd, and um, uh, you know, I don't I'm not worried about what they're going to do on offense. You know, I just need to worry about what my assignment is on defense and what I can do to help this defense. You know, continue to play hard and play fast and you know play together. So. Based on what you've seen of him in practice, the way he performed, does that surprise you at all? Sean? Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't think so. I think that, you know, from what I've gotten from him is that he's a very competitive kid. And, you know, um, Coach Bull gave him an example uh, in high school when he was playing quarterback. He was, you know, jumping over piles and stuff. And you don't see a lot of quarterbacks that are getting recruited to play high school or college football do a lot of that stuff. And that just shows his competitive spirit. And even throughout practice on scout team, he will um, will challenge the scout team to tr- try to break plays on us because then you know it makes us better as a defense. And so, and he tries to you know get the offense that scout team offense going when he was down there. And so you know I think he's a very competitive kid. And he's got a bright future. So.